Okay, so I've got this job at the at the dam or one of the dams here locally. There's two dams that are in uh, the Pinnacles, they call it. So it's kind of a mountainous region and the ri Dan River's running down through them and they built these two 80 foot dams. Well, I'm at the one they call the Upper Dam or also, or the actual name of it is the Talbot Dam. And um, we're actually here at the gate now. I've got an excavator here. We're getting ready to take it down in there and we have to go down here and we're gonna drive some um, telephone poles and try to stabilize a, a washout around a culvert over, over a slope. So we're gonna drive these poles in and then we're gonna put riffraff against the poles and then try to pack the dirt back and get it to uh, get it to stay there is the idea. But I've got a plate compactor on the excavator, a vibratory plate compactor, and I've welded a piece of 16 inch pipe to the bottom of it so I can put it on top of the uh, telephone pole is the plan. I've never done this before, so I don't know. I have no idea what's gonna happen, but we're gonna try to hook strap, a uh, strap to the telephone pole, raise it up, get it where we need it, get the, and then somehow I'm gonna have to try to balance the telephone pole and get that plate tamper on top of it. And hopefully it will vibratory enough to push that Pole you want to this right into here? the ground. Anyway, that's what we're going to try. So where we're working at, we're having to drive the equipment from here. This is the main gate. We got to drive it from here and take it down to the to the lower part of the dam is where we're going to be working. So we're using the tractor. We're going to use this wagon to shuttle bucket our buckets down and then we're going to use it later to haul riprap or bigger rocks down put up against the poles sean's helping me today gotta jack this up okay so you're looking at the bottom of my plate tamper this thing's brand new we had that, that never used it before Contract of what I priced here. I have to fix 
it, re-ditch the road and fix all the water leads and put gravel on it. Put about 150 tons of gravel on this road. But I wanted to do this uh, pole job first. Alright guys, we are here. We're, we're where we have to work on this slight washout, but I wanted to show y'all this dam first. So I gotta watch for snakes. But uh, here you go. There's the dam. 80 foot tall. Alright, I'm gonna jump in here right quick and tell you uh my brother-in-law says it's more than 80 foot tall says it's about 120 foot uh according to his uh depth finder when he's fishing so i don't know where 80 foot came in my head it may be 80 foot may be the actual width of the base of it i know something is 80 foot about this dam i just remember that from somewhere but uh anyway supposedly it's about 120 foot tall. So I just want to make that correction. You're going to hear me say 80 foot a lot. Um, anyway, possibly wrong. I can't, uh, well, I hadn't looked a whole lot, but I can't find it on the internet how tall it is. There's not much about it online. But uh, anyway. I can... There's a uh, hydro plant. There's a hydro plant right down there. They're going to rebuild it. It got flooded out. And uh, they, they want this road fixed so they can get trucks and stuff in here to work on it. But anyway, my great-grandpa helped build this dam. I think it was back in the 30s when they built it. But I don't know if you can see it, but there's an old uh, board. Uh, it's right in there, I think. There's a survey point there. They said they used to walk down that mount, that slope right there and stand on that board to get a survey point. Crazy. I mean, that thing's straight up and down. They didn't have ropes or nothing. They just climbed down there and got on that board. <laughs> but this is a cool dam right here. And there's another one kind of like it just down the river. Yeah. All right, Let's go over here and look at what we got to do. Got a washout right here, and we have to drive these poles in alongside this culvert, and then we're going to put big rock in there against the poles and then fix this back up here with dirt or rock, whatever we can find. We need to clean up, take the bucket, clean up around this. Looks like they might have had a pole drove in here but it's rotten might have been several poles drove in here but they probably all washed out over time or something who knows but right there is that hydro plant <clears throat> we'll walk down there with Sean all right so here we are down at the hydro plant looking back up at it go down here I've been down here before don't want to get in a wasp nest so <clears throat> gives you kind of an eerie feeling standing right here <laughs> huh <laughs> We've had our excavators down in here before. We built the road right down there. These uh, conduits were here. And we had that 138 was in here and that uh, John Deere 135 Steve with them rubber tracks. It's about the same size. We had it down here and we fixed all these rocks because when it flooded this hydro plant, it washed all these rocks down the river. Cause the spill, it was coming over the spillway up there and blew all this out. I must, they must have been a whole lot of water. Well, you remember when we got like six, eight inches in a couple hours there one day? Uh, it was about, I don't know, I guess it's been three or four years ago now. That right there 
right there. Of course, it's coming from the other side of the dam. Pretty neat. They have to let so much water go through all the time. Because they used to generate power right here. But there's a big powerhouse. After you go to the other dam, which is similar in size to this one, there's a pipeline coming out of it that goes down the valley. Uh, I can't remember. It's a couple miles, I think. It goes down the valley, and then there's a bigger power plant with big generators and tur big turbines down there in uh, what they call Kibler Valley. Anyway, we got to get to work. We can't screw around all day.
tamper on and we're getting ready to uh, works we're getting ready to try to plant bolt
switch the other side. What? Let's put a couple in on the other side. anyway for me to get on it.
like it was rocks in there. straight and pretty as we wanted them to be but uh, once you start them they just kind of get a mind of their own the bottoms of them will move fight and fight with them they hit rocks and move while they're going in but they're in there they're not too bad we're going to fill all this in so you ain't going to see much of them Time you fill all that in, they'll look a lot straighter. You won't be able to see much of them. <laughs> okay, I'm heading down with my second load of riprap here, or shell rock. Shell rock slash riprap. Some of it's store bought riprap, and some of it's shell rock. But uh, it's a steep road. I know you can't tell it, but it goes from it drops 80 feet and a thousand feet at least because uh, well the dam's 80 feet tall and you're up there about level with the top of it and then you drive to the bottom of it in a thousand feet basically so is that right A little over a thousand feet something like that I measured it but I can't remember if it was a thousand it was right it wasn't quite two tenths of a mile so anyway we're headed down the hill get down here and dump this one in the hole and the rocks are big enough they're not going through the cracks so that's good And it has decided to rain though and actually we need some rain so I'm really glad that it is raining because we are extremely dry the hay is drying up it just needs some rain get through all these water leads I don't know if you can see that the road is washed out on the left hand track it's washed pretty bad and that's what I have to work on and get fixed. 
have to redo the whole road basically and put 150 tons of stone on it and fix all the water leads and clean out the ditches. Quite a bit to do yet. I'm gonna be hauling a whole lot of gravel down this hill with with either this tractor or the John Deere one. I don't, this one's handling this okay, but I ain't got it completely full. So I'm not 100% sure whether I want to take off down this hill with it completely full of crusher run. But if, uh, if I don't feel comfortable with it, I'll bring the John Deere out here and I know it can handle it just fine. And we'll just do it that way. Anyway, I'll get down here and dump this and we'll take a look at things. Oh yeah, it's coming down a pretty good little shower right now. We didn't rain nothing like this probably since March. And here it is getting close to the end of May. So. I'll let some of that rock go off down in there. this rain lets up. Looks pretty good though. I don't know if y'all can see it. Through all the rain splatters, but it's, it's looking pretty good. It's filling up. Culvert is. See the wide gap? That's where the culvert's going between them. I may have to put a, a log or something to help keep that from discontinuing to fall through. And I know where I can get a log at. There's one. There's a widow maker hanging up right up here. It's a locust log. Uh, and I'll probably just get it and cut it. Cut a few links of it and lay it in there and stack it up uh, across there where that wide gap is. Anyway, I think we're going to be shut down here for a while. Going to get me a locust tree.
more. more. Yeah. the excavator and work those in there. Y'all remember this trailer? I used to use it to haul firewood all the time. I hadn't used it since I started using that dump insert on all green.
so I finally got done putting these poles in and filling in up against them I'm not a hundred percent happy with them but it's the best I could do with the situations that I was working with um, they're you know trying to drive these posts it was kind of soft dirt but then there was rock so you would try start driving you'd get it where you want start driving it, and the bottom would walk and you try to put it back and it walk back again and uh, and then when you drive them trying to keep them straight and then there would be a rock or something and they would it would you know kick them off one way or the other but anyway they're in there and they're in there tight and they're holding all this up <clears throat> um, here's these are spaced out more because the culverts in between them but anyway we cut that locust log and we put locust logs in there to help these smaller rocks not to fall through and then I put some riprap down there below the pipe I wish I could have done a better job with the riprap below the pipe too but the riprap that I had was so small and that slope is so steep it's just rolling and I tried to cut to put some notches in the slope but it didn't help as soon as the rock would fill the notches up then it would just slide on down the slope so I mean that slope is basically a one-to-one -one. that's a, a you know a hundred percent slope it's almost straight up and down it just will not sit there but anyway this up here is it's going to give them a lot more room and hopefully help keep from washing it was kept it just kept eating out on either side of that pipe and kept eating back i think it was back to it was back to about right in here so they got another four or five feet of room now to turn around because they turn around right here they pull over there and then back up over here and then they also have something to keep them from backing off those poles Keep them from backing off um i got the wrist to twist bucket on i hadn't hooked the hoses up yet but i'm getting ready to and we're going to start trimming the this ditch up through here and trying to get this road twisted where it'll drain into this ditch again and work on the water leads on this steep road try to turn some of the water from coming down the road in these tracks and keep it from coming down in here and get it running in here which is that pipe that comes out over there um, so that's the next thing I got to do I got to put about 150 tons of rock on this road so I got to start getting rock hauled in here and but I'm gonna have to bring all of it down on that Pronovals trailer with the tractor because the dump truck is too steep for a dump truck to be coming up and down through here so anyway hope y'all enjoyed this video I want to hook these hoses up, work on this ditch, on these ditches for a little while, and get. It's already after six o'clock, so I guess I better go home for too long. So, we'll talk to y'all later. Well, I thought y'all might want to see the top side of the dam here. I would walk out on it, but they got a gate right there, and it's locked, so I can't go out on it. But you can see that the water level is really low. We hadn't had much rain here for a couple of months, so the uh the water level just keeps dropping my brother-in-law he looks over this over these dams and uh he he said they've slowed the what the uh outlet down there that lets the water go through he said he slowed it they've slowed it down quite a bit trying to maintain a water level in here and he said it's still going down but they're still letting more out that's coming in so we did get a little bit of rain today but it it wasn't a whole lot. I think I could see a house right up there. Somebody's got a really nice view of a of the lake. But anyway, thought I'd show you all the top side. I want to bring a drone down here and fly it. I may try to bring it with me tomorrow when I come back to work on the uh, road some more. But we'll see. I'll do all of it.